Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Von your son. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 12, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Vonnie. Today in history on April 12, 1981, NASA launched the first space shuttle named Columbia, making way for man's continuing exploration of space. Space Shuttle Columbia lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, commanded by John W. Young and Robert L. Crippen. Mark, marking the first flight of space shuttle programs. The orbiter successfully returned to Earth April 14, 1981, and for the next 30 years, the program five spacecraft carried people into orbit repeatedly, launched, recovered, and repaired satellites, conducted cutting-edge research, and built the largest structure in space, the International Space Station. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Scuba diving is a fascinating way of exploring the world that lives below the ocean's surface. And interestingly, it can also be a competitive sport. The sport was developed in Spain in the late 1990s and still takes place mainly in Europe. Divers carry an air tank strapped to their backs, which allows them to breathe underwater. While diving is usually done in open water, these events take place mostly in pools and include swimming, night diving, and even an obstacle course. It is quite a workout, but amazing fun. If you would like to try it, you must be 16 years old and over. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is chili mac, green beans, diced peaches, Fritos, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's get to Sonia for our Nash of the Week segment. Thank you, Noah. Good morning, Patriots. This week is National Coin Week. This week showcases the importance of coins. From replacements of spinning tops to change for vending machines, coins have been in service with people for a very long time. Just twist two of your fingers on top of a coin to have a fun, quick game. Or, if you want that tasty snack, coins to the rescue. We can thank the Lydians who created them around the 5th or 6th century for currency. Coins have evolved and changed a lot throughout the ages, and it makes sense why we dedicate this week to them. Happy National Queen Week! Let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Noah. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Get your yearbooks today for just $30. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbooks.com. Also, Wednesday, April 14th from 4 p.m. through 9 p.m. is our next family fundraiser, night fundraiser. Head out with your family to enjoy some awesome food at Panda Express this Wednesday while also helping out our amazing school. You can order it online or in person if you bring the paper flyer or show it on your phone for 20% off your order to be donated to the school. And finally, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today in class, we are writing a testing motivation letter to ourselves. Pump yourself up for the FSA. Now let's see what the weather's gonna be like today with David. Thank you, Vonnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Looks like a rainy day, so let's avoid those puddles. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's today's joke of the day. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. Now I'm going to celebrate for today's birthdays. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Leah Perez, Samaya Jenkins, and Amari Wright. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your pet's expectations it represents. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. 
Congrats to Miss Barra, Miss Silvera, Miss Ian Danqua, Miss Santi Esteban, Miss Merez, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Julian, Miss Stone, Miss Kane, Miss Maynan, Miss Freeman, and Miss Santori. You had the correct answer to last week's riddle, which was How many bricks does it take to complete a building made of bricks? The correct answer to the riddle was Just one. The last brick you put on will complete the building. Now for today's riddle, imagine you are trapped in a room, there are no doors, no windows, and it seems there is no way to escape. How do you get out? Again, imagine you are trapped in a room, there are no doors, no windows, and it seems no way to escape. How do you get out? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesartrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day!